up guys, this is me, Vixful John, and today this is gonna be a cosplay review on what I did into this uh, very awesome mask, the Black Spider. So the Black Spider was introduced in uh, DC Comics. Um, if you watch the Young Justice uh, season two or season one, I don't know what season that is. Um, you can search it on YouTube. But that scene um, that Black Spider just appeared on the just Young Justice in DC, and um, I thought it's all Spider-Man is the only one who has the spider powers, and also I think DC kind of some some people some people. Uh, tell that DC is copying Marvel and they copied that um, They copied spider-man and named the black spider, but yes spider-man is a hero But in the DC comics black spider is a villain, which is a which is an enemy of Batman so no offense to the DC uh, DC fans out there, but I just heard it from somebody who's doing reviews on uh, this black spider so yeah let, let me wear this mask on so this is the black spider the uh, black spider mask as you can see here there's a slight kind of bump in there but that's okay uh, all, all of us uh, all of the cosplayers uh, kind of feels that so I forgot to tighten this mask uh, somebody told that uh, to me and make a video on how I tighten my masks uh, maybe on the next video because I forgot recording myself and I still didn't um, tighten this a bit but maybe I'll what I'm what what I'm doing is just um, pulling this off and then cutting it and then gluing it just like that okay and it would look just like that guys it has that nice beauty and kind of tighten a bit Okay, so this is the Black Spider Mask. Don't, uh, this is so awesome. This is awesome. I love this. Also, that I love that kind of chin area and the spider up, uh, spider in my forehead. So, man, I love how this turned out. See that? So, the thing that I use for the orange uh, kind of lines. I use a po um, nail polisher instead of using a puff paint. I use nail polisher or a nail nail art because I don't have any nail. Uh, I mean, I don't have any uh, what do you call it? Puff paint. It's because I live in the Philippines and in my place, in this, in this place, in this city, there are no people selling puff paints. So that's so sad. But I figured it out that if I use a nail art. It has it will bring just like a puff paint and style and as you can see the lenses are are kind of popping out so awesome and yes this is just a piece of cardboard and uh, wrap it up with black fabric you can also instead of wrapping up you can also spray paint it but the reason why I'm wrapping this uh, the cardboard is because it will give a nice texture instead of so me wrapping your wrapping this is the best thing to have a nice texture of your mask. So yeah, this is it. Let me remove it. Oh, no. So hot and so warm, so hot. And yeah. So this piece is just a piece of a uh, frame. Uh, uh, no, it's not a frame. It's a piece of cardboard and added on some metallic. Uh, metallic tape just like that and this piece just like that that curvature as you can see it's kind of, it kind of curves I figured this out maybe uh, that I will use this for a lot of my spider-man masks this this is the best thing to use for the lenses I use a plastic bottle a uh, plastic bottle which is um, clear see-through yes it is see-through absolutely see-through and what you're going to need is to cut in this piece in this curvature or you can also cut into uh, in this area and then what I did is just wrap it up with a uh, see-through yellow see-through fabric and just like that so as you can see inside inside there is the um, the 
bot the battle bot 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 bottle. The battle bot 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 bottle. Sorry for the pronunciation, guys. So as you can see, it's so shiny. I forgot. You can also use. You can also put a plastic bottle in the top of this um, lenses so that it would it would bring more uh, reflective, shiny stuff. You know, some with more reflective uh, lens, as you can see there in, in this in this piece, it's kind of reflect. It kind of reflects light. But yeah, and I just cut a piece of spider, which is always have a reference. So I I took a reference from Google, which is the black spider. It has the spider piece. Let it's here. Okay, so I took that uh, the spider piece and then cut, uh, trace it on the cardboard and glue, wrap it up with black fabric. You know, okay, you can also you uh, spray paint or color it black if you want to. But yeah, this is more also if you if you wrap this in the black fabric, it is more um, it will give you a nice texture. And that's also. Whew, let me put it on for the last video. So, this is me, Vixel John, and today I am Black Spider. And if you want me to make this mask, I already recorded myself doing this. So, I'll be posting a tutorial on this. Maybe not, I don't know. I still didn't finish editing the video. But yeah, don't worry, guys, I'll be posting a tutorial. And you'll know you'll see how I made this mess. So thank you everyone for watching. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe. This is me, Vixel John as the black spider and goodbye everybody.